Okay, take your paper. We're going to go through, and again, I want to remind you right now that this paper, I may say it a couple times, is your study guide for the actual quiz you will have. Now, this quiz is going to be different than any quiz we've had all year because it's not on the computer, and it's all short answer, which means you have to give me an answer. There's no multiple choices you get to choose from. You have to give me an answer and circle it on the quiz. So the first problem I'm going to give you, 4, 8 over 4 to 15. And I'm going to encourage you to really show all of the answers, all the work, so you know what's going on. And the first thing you're going to do here is you're going to realize there's a battle going on. It's division. So your answer will be in subtraction. Um, you're going to subtract here. The battle, the 15 beat beat the 8 up, or the 8 beat 8 of these guys up too, right? When you think about the armies. So you're subtracting the 8 from 15. But who won, the top or the bottom? The bottom won by how much? By 7. And you put a one on top to hold it together, and that's your answer. Okay? These are going to be the easy ones today. I really need you to get these ones right. Now, next one. Five to the fourth times five to the second times five times five to the tenth. Okay? Now look at this. What are you going to do? This one was subtracting when we were dividing. This one's multiplying, so we're going to add. Add. And add, but nothing's here except an invisible. We know there's a one there. So 10 plus 1 is 11, plus 2 more is 13, plus 4 is 17. 5 to the 17th power. Okay? All right, let's keep leveling up a little bit. Each, each box is going to be another level here. So this one here, 3 to the fifth, parentheses, to the third. Okay? That's not the whole problem. All over. 3 to the 5th. Now, what are you going to do first on this one? You're going to deal with this parenthesis and this multiplication up here. You need to know this is multiply up here. So it's going to be 3 to the 15th all over 3 to the 5th. And now you're going to look back at this, and there's a battle going on. Who wins the battle? The top wins, but these five take out five of those. So it's 3 to the 10th. Write all this down. Next one, we're going to deal with another larger parenthesis. Okay, all to the second power. When dealing with this, you just need to know that you are going to be multiplying. That's all that's happening. So this becomes 3 to the 4th, 4 to the 8th, 6 to the 6th. Okay, and that's your final answer. Hold on one second. All right, let me get back to this. So as we are moving on, let's go to the next one over here. Hopefully you understood what's happening here. We're just multiplying. Then down here, 3 to the negative 5th over 3 to the 10th. You have to really understand these, okay? Negatives coming into play. You can't have a negative. You got to take this and move it down. It has to flip to the bottom. So your answer is going to be 3 to the 15th, but there's going to be a 1 over it. Okay, so it's 1 over 3 to the 15th. Don't get that mixed up, all right? And now I'm going to do another one under here. What if I just said it was 4 to the negative 5th? Okay, again, it has to flip to the bottom. If you're not getting that, try to get it now. All right, we're going to do another one right here. All of these questions are going to help you. This one for sure. Make sure you write this one down. A lot of kids ask questions on this in first period. What do you do on this? You're going to multiply, just like we did up here. We multiplied and we got 315. We're going to multiply down here and get 3 to the negative 8, which then eventually becomes 1 over 3 to the 8th. Okay? 1 over 3 to the 8th. All right, let's move on. Let's get to the little spicier ones. You're going to see on your Jeopardy there's going to be different spice levels for each category. All right. Now, dealing with this one, there's negatives and positives. There's a couple ways you could solve this. You could flip these on the bottom and then battle them, or you can just totally just add across. You can add across if you'd like. 
And I know negative three and four, I know negative three and negative one is gonna equal negative four and negative four and positive four is gonna cancel each other out be zero. So what's left? All right, do the best you can on that one. Just add across. All right, on the bottom here, this one is a curveball. Make sure you write this down. Again, you can use this on your quiz. Five negative two over five to the negative tenth. What happens here? This one flips down. This one flips up. So eventually you get five positive 10 on top, five positive two on the bottom. And if they battle, 10 on top, two on the bottom, you're gonna get five to the positive eight, okay? All right, so let's go over here to this last one where it's a little tricky. There is some extra credit on your quiz. I want you to take time on that as well. I'm not gonna help you with that because it is extra credit. I need you to struggle through it and try to figure it out on your own. Try to be a detective. Four to the first and five to the third. All right, take this as like three separate different problems. Really? You're gonna do this, what are you gonna do with this? You're gonna take this down, move it down, right? And that's gonna become three to the six on bottom. Take this, move it down. Isn't there a one here? So you're gonna add that one to the five, you're gonna get four to the sixth, okay? Because you're adding the five. And then this 10 and this three, they battle. Five to the seventh, okay? This is just a straight battle, there's no negatives to deal with. All right, do the best you can. Um, you get to use this. Now I would like you to open up your Jeopardy game. You're going to battle your partners. Each category is on here. Tapatio, Sriracha, Ghost Pepper. But I really need you to write down the problems. Some of you guys just want to know, can I just write the answers down? Sure. But you get to use this on your quiz. And I, I took questions from the Jeopardy and I put it in your quiz. It's going to help you. All right. Do the best you can and good luck.